Peace, peace, peace and blessings. Coming to you live from gorgeous Prince George's. It's another episode of Can We Be Fragrant? And today, <laughs> um, this is going to be an interesting show because Nigel has been acting up the last couple <laughs> weeks, so we got a lot to talk about there. And we got uh, Suits here on the left, a very, very special guest. But um, we'll get into intros, but tell us what you've been up to, Nigel. Uh... Of course, I went to my son's uh, graduation, him and his wife's graduation uh, from basic training. That was great. Uh, they're in AIT now, so looking forward to that. They're going to be coming up here for their, their break in December. Mm -hmm. So that's been that. Uh, my team has been doing fairly well other than these last two games. So uh, the commanders, you know, so it's been a great year for me. I've seen more wins in the last this year than I've seen in the last four. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's, it feels good. Everything in my life is going smooth. Just got an award from work, uh, unsuspectedly. Um, but it was one of the things that you you want your employer to recognize you. And you you can make all the money, but no one appreciates you or shows your value or just shows your appreciation in front of your peers. And right. it it builds you. Because sometimes you can go for bigger money, but mm -hmm. you rather do something you love and passionate about. So things have been going in the right direction in my life and I, I'm looking forward to the next year of my life. And I've been doing a little bit of partying and I kind of messed up a, a game the other night. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you get into that. <laughs> um, no, we're not, we're not going to talk about that. But um, congratulations on the uh, award for work. It, it does feel good when you... Uh, do good things and somebody recognizes and appreciates it. Um, so on the left, we got Sue too. Um, I've been following your content. Um, I think you do a good job. You real, real laid back, real smooth. Um, for the first time I saw you was at the Creed event a couple weeks ago at Nemas. And I think we talked about it. We might've done something since mm -hmm. then. And uh, you left. I didn't get a chance to talk to you, but I reached out to you and you, uh, I asked you to come on the show. You gave uh, the okay. You came on. Schedules was kind of a little mixed up, but you worked with us. Um, appreciate you for coming on the show. Uh, tell us about yourself. Oh, not a problem. They call me Suits. Short for Suits and Sense. Been doing this a little over a year now. It's more so started off as a hobby instead of uh, getting more serious with it. Mm -hmm. So... Now, with my love of perfumery, I mean, I'm all in. I'm all in. I see that it's getting, the field itself is becoming saturated, but it's just more so for the love of it. Right. When you ask to say saturated, can you go into more detail? Like, what do you, what do you say why it's more saturated? As far as reviewers, I didn't know that there were so many, not just black reviewers, there's... Uh, white reviewers, uh, indie reviewers, Arabic reviewers, just reviewers in all nationalities. Because me, I, I try to support everybody as long as you're honest to the game. Mm -hmm. Now I'm realizing you have some reviewers that have sold out to that paper. And, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, not being true to it. You know, me and a couple of other uh, buddies that's in this uh, frag game are kind of close as far as we talk behind the scenes and we starting to pick up on a lot of things that, you know, just aren't uh, authentic. I don't know. Did you ever see um, the video by, I think his name is Robes, and he was basically talking about, like, a lot of the um, popular um, fragrance reviewers, and he was basically kind of exposing, for the lack of a better word, um, he was like, how can this be your top 10 and then tomorrow it changes? And this, this is your top mm -hmm. 10 for life and then tomorrow it changes. Mm -hmm. uh, a new fragrance will come out and all of a sudden everybody is just talking about it conveniently at that time. Um, a lot of these houses are giving these people free bottles and paying them or whatever. And all of a sudden they're talking about it and saying that this is something that they wear all the time when you know that it's not That's true. It's not true, yeah. So it, it, it makes it kind of difficult to um, see a lot of people... Uh, follow their content and really believe that they're being genuine um, if you know that they're being uh, influenced by some of these companies and whatnot? I, well, hmm. I know of a few who have deals with certain houses and 
they they can't speak negative against right, it. Right. Even though you know that that fragrance isn't the quality that you speak of, but you still can't say mm -hmm. so much. Now I can speak for myself. I was offered. Um, you know, like I said, I've been in this game for a small amount of time, and I've been offered a few deals, not a lot, just a few. And my response to them is, I'll do your review, send me your fragrance, no, uh, no contract needed, no money necessary. Mm -hmm. I'll do it for free. Because then some will ask, well, why don't you want to sign a contract? And I reply, I re reply to them that, well, I'm not going to allow you to tie my hands. Right. So with that being said, I would still receive the bottles. I would do the review. And if I don't like it, I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you. Like uh, Perseus. I. That's the new uh, Parfum de Marley? Is it new? Well, the new one is the one for the ladies. Uh, but it was the latest one. With the uh, heavy citrus in it. It's the orange bottle. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Tangerine color bottle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, mm -mm. Mm. Uh, no, I'm going to be honest with you about it. What would, uh, for that particular one, since you said, what, what particular, what you didn't like about that one specifically? Perseus? Yeah. They, that, that was their only fragrance, well, one of their only fragrances where they went, had a heavy citrus note. Where it was just citrus overload. I mean, everything, bergamot, lemon, lime. I mean, just <laughs> grapefruit, just everything in an abundant amount of it, just too much. You would spray it, and if you could get past the opening, some say to dry down, it mellows down a little bit. But to me, it was just, I couldn't get past the opening. Just was it a, more of a sour smell? I, I can't remember if I smelled, I smelled it, but I can't remember, remember it. Not, I wouldn't, no, not sour, but just. Like you're smelling oranges all day. Oh, okay. It just didn't settle down to me, mm -hmm. you know, and transition it to something smooth. They should have added like a vanilla or a sandalwood or something to it to tone it, or even more patchouli in there to neutralize it somewhat. So mm -hmm. it's not so citrusy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so what what got you into fragrances to begin with? Hmm. That's a good story. I um. As I was coming, you know, everybody was in designers, you know, the man in black, the cool waters, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. And I was introduced to it by when I started working for the federal government, I was introduced to it by a white man. Mm -hmm. And he had a scent that I had never experienced before. And I asked him, like, you know, what, what is that you're wearing? Whatever. And he said the name. I didn't know what he was saying. And I actually don't even remember the fragrance he had, but he was saying uh, it's a new niche brand. Mm -hmm. I took it as niche was the name of was the name of the brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he was saying you can't go to Macy's, and at that time Woodruff and Woodworth and uh, Lothrop Lothrop was uh, the two Hex, Hex and Woodruff were the two head department stores. Macy's wasn't in the area; it was only up in New York. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, he said it's a uh, niche brand. You're not gonna get it at Woodworth or Hex or whatever. I'm like, okay, so where do you get it? Whatever he was telling me about. Neiman Marcus. At the time, the Neiman Marcus in Friendship Heights, that's closed, that closed down now. Mm -hmm. I had went there, <laughs> and I went to the uh, to the Creed stand, and I asked the lady. I was like, uh, "Ma'am, I'm looking for." I told the story on a few videos. I'm looking for a fragrance called Niche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the lady, she looked at me. She was like, "Bless your heart." <laughs> just, just, because there was a whole bunch of fragrance right there. She just did her hands like that. I said, "Yeah, I'm looking for niche. You have niche. I'm looking for the fragrance called niche." And she looked at me. She said, "Oh, poor baby," and it just went from there. Mm. Yeah, it just went from there, and I haven't looked back yet. Because I know when I'm doing lives with everybody and all the stuff, they um, would ask, "Why do I only have niche and don't do clones?" Um. <laughs> I, I just I just can't get into the clones. Who that sound like? It sounds just like him. I mean, I mean cause uh, my, my thing is, no disrespect to anybody that that does that, right? But to me, I'm just like, if something is, I don't know. I kind of want the original of it, mm -hmm. me personally. But I, I also go back and forth with the what is a clone, right? Because if it's not an exact 
copy of it. So they tweak it some. So technically, it's its own fragrance. And mm -hmm. a lot of people get inspirations from fragrances when they create something new anyway. So I, I, I don't know. I kind of juggled that back and forth. I don't know. I, I was reading something. And uh, it wasn't Joe Michelle. It was one of these discount houses. And the owner was saying that clone fragrances have ingredients ingredients in them that eventually will cause harm to you. Mm -hmm. How true that is, I don't know. I can't speak on that. I was only going by what I read. But that isn't the reason why I don't purchase clones. Me, I just like the original. You know, I'm, I'm going to spend my money on the original. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching some of your videos. To, 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 to me, <laughs> I feel like with the clones also is that if you wear it and somebody asks you what you're wearing, you're not going to say the clone. Or, or people normally wouldn't say the clone. They would say, th mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. So why not just buy Tom, Tom Ford, Ford. If, that's, exactly. if, if that's what you're trying mm -hmm. to do? You, you want the name. Or you get the reaction. It's like you saying you're wearing Tom Ford, and they got it. Like, that's not that. And that's what, and if they're very keen, knows it, like, mm -hmm. something's you off could, about. You could pick it out. Yeah. yeah. Somebody um, in this... Somebody, I'm not going to say where, but anyway, they um, they let me smell oud wood. And I smelled it. I'm like, that's not oud wood. I got oud wood. Let me go get that. And then when they smelled Compared it, yeah, they was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Yeah. Because to the uneducated nose, <laughs> <laughs> You you can get you can get away with it. Yeah, yeah. You can get away with it. But to a nose that's been educated and that's been around a while and able to pick up on the differences. And smelled a lot of fragrances. Mm hmm You can know. But like you said, I don't knock people that purchase clones. You know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. That's just not me. Right. Um so you were talking about how you got into fragrances. So what got you into creating content then? <laughs> I, who was I looking at? I think it was the fragrance guy. No, the perfume guy. I was watching him. Because, okay, when I had my experience at Neiman's and the niche situation or whatever, I had purchased uh, a Creed fragrance. Mm -hmm. And I went from there, and the lady was like, what she told me was, do your research. And went from there, YouTube looking at all the reviews. Back, you know, back years ago, it wasn't saturated like it is now. Right. You know, you had some authentic reviewers because they didn't have the contracts with the other uh, house and they was given solid reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guy with the tattoos all over him, the white guy. Um, I, don't, I don't know who Aaron, Aaron Hughes. Oh, oh yes, yes, yeah, yes, Aaron the perfumer, Hughes. yeah. I started watching him because I knew that he would give a truth to a fragrance that I was doing, that I was interested in purchasing. So mm -hmm. I would watch him a lot. Then I got over to Bowtie. I would watch him a lot in the early stages. Yes. You know, now I'm not saying that he's sold out of it, but you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference in his content, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Um, but those two is what started. Then I got to thinking like, you know, I'm looking at my... Back then I didn't have a lot, but I had enough. And I'm looking at my fragrance like... I can do this. <laughs> you know, like, I can do this and, you know, just do it for fun and be honest with it. You know, tell people that this fragrance is good, this fragrance isn't good. I'm, you know, I got a few dollars in my pocket and it just went from there. Right. Um, because actually, when I first started doing my first videos, I don't have them up anymore. I was doing fragrances compared or match with suits. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've always had plenty and plenty and plenty of suits, so I would, uh, I had a mannequin that I would put the suit on and I would match the fragrance with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now okay. I'm thinking about going back to some of that content and start that over again. You know, match a fragrance with the suit. You know, the attire with the scent, uh, and that's what I started with. But then I just transitioned to just complete uh, fragrances. My um, my sister, she's doing that now. Shout out to uh, Fashionably Marketed. She is doing uh, sort of like outfits and pairing them with the uh, fragrances, fragrances and things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, Aaron Aaron Hughes. Um, that was somebody whose content I came across 
a long time ago. It's t- to me, he's different because mm-hmm. uh, he does the kind of smell of fragrance and can pick the notes out of it and tell you the different uh, if it's Italian or French mm-hmm. or things like that. I don't know how real that is or anything, but um, well, he has his own line. Yeah, now. he has his own line as well too. Um, but I, I, I think that that was just like a different spin mm-hmm. as opposed to just watching people do reviews. Mm-hmm. He kind of was yeah. doing something different with it. Um, but what'd you bring today, Nigel? So, in my journey, you know, I was going on a journey. I like, I just try to find random things because I, I need going to the stores, buying them, and then also in my time, my feet, it just get flooded with a lot of different fragrances. And I saw the bottle first. The bottle is what caught my eye, and I was like, hmm. I know I can't buy this nowhere and go smell it, so this is going to be a blind buy for me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me find the one that more appeals to my heart. How'd you, how'd you see the bottle? Because uh, I saw the bottle on um, a marketing on Instagram okay. and one of the little things I got in there. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, let me go. They have like a red one, bright pink one. But I chose the, the black one because I have a heart of darkness, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> <laughs> um, the map of heart version. Boy, uh, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Go ahead. Go ahead. So the, what caught my eye is the way the bottle is. The bottle's in the shape of a heart. I'm oh, a very, wow. I, I, I love presentation, presentation yeah. and I keep my boxes, especially something like this. You got to keep I the box. I keep my boxes too. I Thank you, brother. I need somebody I, with me. I, I don't. I have I this don't. basement full of hefty trash back, like 10 bags of just that, boxes. That's my point. Why keep them? Because what, what purpose does I mean, serve unless for, you're moving? So, so for something like this, this particular, you have to keep the box because this is not stand, it's, it won't stand up. You got to put it back in the box, and it shakes okay. right there. Or you could just lay it flat on the table. No, but this is when I open this, it brings like, man, this is a quality box. Like the presentation, like, hey, look hold at on, this fragrance. Let me see. Hold on, this ain't no quality. I'm talking box. about the presentation of the fragrance. What it is to live. Okay, listen. I, I like <laughs> the bottle. I like the way it looks. I, I like the uh, the concept, the name map map of the heart. Is the brand V8? Yeah, no, that's the version of it. V8 oh, is oh actually, version 8. Yeah, version 8. So they, got, this fragrance. they got nine different ones. So I got the sample set. I do actually like this a lot. I just don't know where I could wear this right now. But it's, it's got to be, it's a unisex too. So Why why, why don't you know what you can wear? Um, I just haven't spent the time invested in trying to play with it and see where I want to wear it to. Uh, just kind of play with Like when I was at an uh, event the other day, one of my coworkers, she was like, you actually wear a lot of fragrances to work. And like, how do you pick out the appropriateness of it? I was like, well, I just choose pretty much that. I know the situation in the room I'm going to be in. If mm-hmm. I'm going to be in a meeting space, I'm not going to wear something that's going to be so loud that it just takes over the room and we're trying to focus or vice versa. When we go to, uh, when I go to the pool hall, mm-hmm. bartender, before she even turns around, she knows I'm there because she's like, you always smell amazing. I had mm-hmm. wore a Prada Black in there one day, and then I wore a Grandmaster in another day. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I, I just know it's you, and I know I'm going to order you. A, uh, she's going to make my old-fashioned before I even get to the bar because mm-hmm. she knows what it is I like. In. I'm coming in. Mm-hmm. coming in hot. That's what I like to call it. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me get her, let, you, let you smell this first, and then we'll go over the notes. Have you worn this yet? Uh, no, I have not worn this. Okay. No, 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 no. What's the name of the house? Uh, map of heart. So each version is a different oh, bottle. It's not the same it's fragrance a, that they tweaked. No, no, everyone's okay. different, and everyone like the, I. I really want this red bottle one because I looked at the notes of it, and I didn't go through all the scents of it. But mm. this is nice. I got to hit what the notes are in this. Uh, all right, so the top note is uh, bitter orange and intense, I mean, I'm sorry, incest and pink pepper. The mid note is a Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, you get the pine. <laughs> yeah. I smell the orange more than anything. Uh, the base note is Australian sandalwood, white sandalwood, uh, and benzone. Yeah. What, what do you think of it? This, Silver Mountain Water <laughs> or uh, Erofa. It's one of them Creed fragrances. One of them fresh Creed fragrances. Oh, so, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It, it, it's got some note in it that 
it's, the, it's that, just, that freshness in there. Yeah. It, it puts me in the mouth like a, 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 a milder green Irish tweed. It's, it's, it got that Creed DNA, that 1990s Creed DNA. That's what it has. It's a good scent. It's a perfect spring summertime yeah, fragrance. Yeah. yeah. See, I think it would be more for a fall for me. I don't know. For me, I, I, think, spring. I, I think, think spring. I think spring for I that. I think spring. Yeah, but that freshness in that. Um, it, it wasn't a heavy buy either. It's a blind buy. I got actually out the if you buy it directly from their site, it's like two twenty. But I got it down to like to. I found a site to get it for like one twenty. Good so lord. It, okay. You know, I had to wait like four weeks to get it, but you know, because it didn't come directly from the main vendor. Okay. But, but I appreciate it. It was nice, and I, I, I appreciate the the effort they put into the presentation of this because it's just the smell doesn't match the presentation to me. It's good, but I love the presentation more than like the smell. Mm. What? How did they come up with the name Map of the Heart? Do you know? No, no, I, I did not. I couldn't figure out why they came up with that. I just like I, I just thought it was a good a good setup. It caught my eye. Like if I'm scanning through, it catches your eye. The name matches the bottle. Necessarily doesn't match the fragrance because it's not. This is nothing I love. You know, this is not like my favorite fragrance or my one of the things I wear all the time. This is just purely just because. It caught my eye. It was a blind buy, and I wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, and it just played out that way for me. Is is this uh, normal? Like like, no. Uh, what I'm trying to say is like, is this? Uh, if somebody smelled this, would they be like, this is something that Nigel would no. wear? No, no, no. Okay. I don't think this. I, don't, I mean, you can even test. It's something that I probably wouldn't even wear on a basis. If you if you had to if, say, I went out and picked this out, I wouldn't have picked this out. Mm. You know, just just because of you mean if you sampled it, you yeah, sampled it. No, okay. no, I clearly had mm. to blind buy this because it's not gonna be the mm. one I go and grab. Like, yeah, I gotta get this. Right. So there's certain fragrances like mm, I'll fall in love with, and I'm buying it, and it don't, I don't care. I'm getting it that day. That's not this. Mm. You, know? you you could wear that to work though. I think that's working. Yeah, I probably, that's, I probably yeah, could wear the work environment. I, I probably could wear this work. I, you know mm -hmm. what? I will wear. It. I'm gonna wear it on Monday, and then I'll follow up on the next one. I'm gonna speak about when I wore this. And see what reaction you got. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just wondering. I'm I'm gonna wonder how long this lasts. I'm not sure the longevity of this. How many sprays? What's your spray routine? <laughs> it depends on the situation. It all depends on the situations. Oh, but if, uh, he, if he want to go acting up, he do about thirteen sprays. That's all. Uh, <laughs> uh, said that's all. Okay, so I'll say we went out. Uh, was it last Friday? And I wore Gucci Gucci Elixir, one of my one of the first fragrances I bought on, and. That fragrance, I think. Where'd you, you, go, where'd you go on Friday? We went to uh, Throw Social for First Friday. <laughs> no, 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 never mind. Well, that sound like that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. To, to say, say the, the least. least. All I can, that, that's, I sprayed that maybe 10 times total. But that thing, that smell lasted still to the next day because it's so mm. potent mm -hmm. like that is a fragrance i love i love that fragrance you said the elixir right yes yeah. that's the only yeah. one i like okay the small green bottle like that is what yeah, the, I, that one i don't have i have the brown bottle yeah that thing yeah. that thing is potent but it that's more to my palate a sweeter mm. smell but it just it lingers it lets you know i was there and you it's going to stay on that other person yeah, regardless it conquers the room it, it conquers the room mm. the person the insides and the outsides it does whatever it needs to do did he just say it's gonna stay on the person? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He, he, know, he, he know what he doing. <laughs> no, so, because, so, so we normally refer to Nigel as Demon Time because everything has sort of a um, no, that's in the black heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or it could be, or it could be dark red. No, nah, that's that's black. That's black. Yeah. That's black. All the bottles are like that. Yeah, every bottle was shaped like this, literally like different. Heart? Yeah, but mm. is it? Are they the same color? No. No, no. Like there's a like there's a pink one, there's a clear one, there's a red one, there's a brown one, and a blue one. Okay. You would think because the bottle isn't stationary that they would make the presentation to where they would have a small stand I, to come with it. That would yeah. yeah. I would you, agree. You might, gotta, you might need to write the company. Yeah. Hey. You know. You know what? You're not gonna do it. You know, so I'm just, we're, we're, no. No. We're gonna tag him in this. It's like, hey, this is an idea for your boxes. You know what I'm saying because the presentation is good. It just, I mean, because it, it takes a lot to get it out, but they put it in a ribbon, so you have to pull it out with the ribbon. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do all that work. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like the presentation of it. I, I do like the bottle. I like the scent. I think that's nice. Uh, I don't think that that that's you at all. I, I, which, I, which you said already. Yeah. Okay. Blind buy. So I'm not gonna do. I mean, if you don't want it, you can you can trade it. I'll trade you. First of all. 
You still have, have what's the phrase like? I bought you that uh, one from uh, Miami. I forgot, um, I forgot what it was. It's something. Oud and Spices. I think it's by uh, Aqua de Colonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've, I've worn that a couple of times. It would never tell me. First of all, he never bought it on the show. That means he really didn't like it. No, 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 no. That is a, a still me kind of getting into the fragrance. Like, I'll spray it on my hands some days and just mm-hmm. walk around and give it a wear. And see what it do for th- you. Th- to see what it do. Um, I haven't really... Taking it out and um, tested the waters, tested the waters with it yet. Put, the, put it in, the, put right, and, in the, and I don't feel like me saying spraying it on my hand is um, a good enough example to bring on to the show. But thank yeah. you for making me so I got like mention a, it. A lot of marine notes, aqua notes. No, 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 no. This no, no. is just oud and spices. That oh. um, it's it's a fall weather, okay. winter weather fragrance. It's not something I would wear in the spring. Mm. Nothing like that. Okay. Um. All right, well, I'll talk about this because we kind of were talking about clones and stuff like this, and people have said that this smells like Baccarat Rouge, but uh, Trajan by yeah. Electimus. Um, I first came across this fragrance maybe a year or two ago. Um, Eric, uh, uh, Gerald's friend, yeah, um, his son. They, so they had a, a, a like a, fra- a fragrance event at um, Eric's house, and his uh, son, I believe his name is Eric as well, um, had brought this fragrance. And when I smelled it, I was like, "Oh, this is nice. This is something different than kind of what I'm used to smelling or what I would buy more than anything." It's um, I don't want to say it's sweet, but it, but it it, it it's it's it's, it's it's a, it's a it's a nice fragrance, right? Mm-hmm. And so, um, the two times that I've left the house that I'm gonna talk about wearing this fragrance, because anybody that's watched the show for a considerable amount of time knows that we say spray responsibly, because mm-hmm. you're gonna get some results with some of the stuff that you're wearing. So the first time we went to Famous, um, shout out to those of us that go to Famous, <laughs> right? And so there was this woman. We in the bar, whatever. We talking, talking, thirty minutes easily. Next thing I know, I'm feeling lips on my neck, and she just smelling me up. Talking about you smell so good. Ne- next thing I know, I'm like, oh, let me go close my tab out. <laughs> I turn around, she's gone. Oh, gone. D- don't even know what happened. Dang. Don't even know what happened. Maybe this story is not even real. Like this is just <laughs> something that happened in the middle. Like just being out wild, uh, out wilding one night. But this happened. I don't know where this person went. But this almost got me ate up and famous. That could have been your wife. No. So, uh, <laughs> so recently, the second time, I reached for this bottle. Because after that, I was like, I, I really got to be careful when I wear this. So um, I was going to a Caps game and uh, with my cousins. Shout out to Johnny and Tracy. And Tracy, no, because I'm a... This is stories about her because I told her I was going to talk about it on the podcast. So we're walking to the Capital One Arena. And as we get to um, an intersection, we're waiting at the light. I walk in front of her and there's like a group of people in front of me. But I walk between her and the people. And she goes, oh, my God, somebody smells so good. And I look because I know it's me. Mm-hmm. And she isn't was that, like, isn't that the best feeling? It's the world? best feeling. Mm-hmm. And she goes. I wonder if it's this guy. And I bust out laughing. And I said, really? I said, it's me. And she was like, it's not you. She's like, I've never smelled you smelling good before. And I'm like. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I said, come here. She came over smelling. She's like, oh, it is you. And I'm like, yes. This. <laughs> now, we were talking about what's your speed. It's, this is your speed. Now. That's my speed. This is your speed. Crazy. I'm going to spray. I've, I've looked at, I don't know which. This one is, or you just said it, but when I was in stores, I was, I seen these bottles and I was mm-hmm. like, I want to go down that lane and see what it's like, but I don't know. I haven't spelled it before. I mean, I have Oh, yes. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, it's, oh it's yes. A, it's a nice fragrance. It really is. Oh, it's an, ex- is, it's oh, this, an expense, an inexpensive Baccarat. You're right. Yeah. It is. This is one of the ones I would be like, hmm. I'm, I'm telling you, I know ring your it speed. Up. I know your yeah, speed. I'll bring this one up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah, Trajan is nice. I mean, Electimus. It has its positive reviews. Mm-hmm. It has its negative reviews. You know, they say it's a, uh, a, uh, yeah, a, uh, an expensive clone house. Mm-hmm. But 
I mean, I think they got, I have maybe like four or five of their uh, fragrances. But as far as Trey Jean, I purchased that just on the fact that I wanted to compare it to my original Baccarat and my uh, Baccarat uh, extract. extract. Yeah. So I wanted to compare the three. What do you think? Um, It's good. But see, I'm an oversprayer. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, just spraying that a couple of times, you can see it's just taking yeah, over this whole space. But my thing was the longevity. Okay. You know, it, the longevity, it, it didn't compare to Baccarat. The, the scent DNA, yeah, I would give it something like that, but not the uh, extract, the original, but mm -hmm. not the extract. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the longevity. It's a good fragrance, a really good fragrance. It'll get you some attention. Um, the best thing that helps this fragrance out is a summer breeze. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. In the summertime, and that, that nice that. breeze come through and it catches the fragrance. Oh, and, and it carries it. Out there. Oh. A summer breeze is the best thing for that fragrance right there. You can wear this year round, this thing right mm -hmm. here. Oh, my goodness. So one of the things that happens to me, when I, whenever I smell a fragrance that I like, it takes a, it's a tingle feel in my body. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, like, it tickles my body. And like, mm, it just shocks. That's how, like, oh, this is really good. I, I really like it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it, I feel it. It's like, it just, it takes over my, the touch and, for my smell to just touch, and I was like, mm, I wonder what this is going to do for more. Like, it just tingles my inside and just goes. And that's how I kind of pick my fragrances versus, like, I'm looking for a pink one. I'm sorry, look for a vanilla note. I want something that's just going to capture my my essence. Right. Mm. Um, so in this, we have blood orange, bergamot, mm. mandarin orange, lemon, saffron, lavender, sage, ambergris, cedarwood, and oak moss. I told you this got your name on it. it does have I, name. I, I know. Look, listen, I've been around you long it's enough. It's a good fragrance, and it it's is. not that expensive. It's 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 really mm -hmm. not. And yeah. if you do your research, you can probably get it even cheaper on one of the discount oh, websites. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it, would you buy this? I mean, because you have a lot of bottles already now. I, I is, do is have this something that could crack in, inside of your collection? That was a long pause. <laughs> I mean, I I like it, but I know I have something that kind of sim sim similar, similar to, to it. it. You do, and I I have a lot. I've I've come across a lot of my collections I've gotten over the last year that I'm moving away from those conventional things that I have tons of. I I, I have. I mean, okay. I have moved away from. Them. Okay. Do you still wear uh, Coach Platinum? I might have worn that maybe twice this year. Okay. That used to be my number one fragrance to wear all the time. Oh, really? Then, I have never even worn it yet. <laughs> it's it's just, yeah, it just, it was one of my fragrances. I wasn't as deep into the fragrance. Like, this past, since I started the podcast, it just kind of took over and infested my life. And then everything else just went from there. And I just fell in love more in depth. Like, I like to call myself the rookie on the team into the fragrance game. But then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm catching up slowly. No, 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 no. no. I mean, I'm not no, to... No, no, no. See, I don't have that many designer fragrances. I have mm. a few, but not a lot. I started off designer, and um, I, I think in this space, a lot of times they get like a bad rep, but there's some good designer mm -hmm. stuff out there. With niche quality. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that people just kind of skip mm -hmm. over, glance over. Because it's like people are bypassing designer and going straight to clone. You know, my <laughs> that's thing crazy. Like, that's actually very crazy. Yeah, I'm like, what happened to the designer fragrance? Everybody is going to clone fragrances now. I'm like, some of the best ones, like, are, yeah. like CK one, one of some of the best things. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That that's like, I don't guess a classic, no matter what. And they re put it out again, and it's even stronger now. Mm. And then I have another fragrance uh, that I brought that was like in a more intense version of, which I'm pretty sure it's, it's got to be a dupe, the uh, Double Blue. Mm -hmm. That's like a more intense version of it. Really? Yeah. That was it, very nice. Though. Yeah, it was like, if this was the little brother, this is the big brother right here. They just souped up. Mm. It was it was a nice quality, but it's still, no matter what, CK1 was like the founding of that fragrance for me. Yeah. CK1 yeah. is a classic. Yeah, when uh, that came out, that took the world by storm. Yeah. By storm. Oh. Aqua mm -hmm. Curve. Mm -hmm. um, Cur was it, was it, was it uh, Curve that more? Curve is... Curve is... Uh, mm, somewhat. I would say juke more than Curve. curve. Mm. Yeah, when they came out. Of course, Cool Water. Cool Water, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I was going to do this for another episode, and I still am. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to go back to some of my designers because the Pradas I started off with mm-hmm. and all of those are nice. Like, mm-hmm. I could still go get those today and wear yeah, those out. Wear. Dolce & Gabbana has yeah. some very nice fragrances. <coughs> yeah, the one. <coughs> Excuse me. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. The one. Mm. The yeah, that one. that did it right there. Yes. I would say that was one of the first designer fragrances that you could call niche. Mm. That you could call niche. The one. Man, yeah, my bottle cold named. I, I, <laughs> I killed that. Bottle. Yeah, yeah, that that used to be my signature scent. Uh, the Prada Luna Rosa and the um, Dolce Gabbana, the one. If I mm. went out somewhere, you knew I had one of those mm. two on. Armani Code for me. Okay. Black, yeah, that the long was, black one. Yeah, black bottle, yeah. That used to I be my hitter right I, there. I like Armani yeah. Code. Yeah. That's an all time great for me. Mm-hmm. I don't, now this is horrible, but for some reason I used to like that Jordan, that Jordan Meyer <laughs> for some particular reason. That, that Jordan, yeah, the Jordan. His, that, is that uh, the one that smells like pancake syrup? No, this no. is because there's one that that supposedly tastes like. I mean, not taste. Smells <laughs> like smells like pancake syrup. No, I think that Bond, uh, Bond's New Harlem was supposed to be. Oh no, this is the original the one, the original Jordan when he first mm-hmm. came out. I, some I liked it, and then uh, the Givenchy, was it Givenchy, Givenchy. Yeah, Givenchy. that was like my. I think my dad had it, and I took it, and I sprayed the hell out of that thing. Mm. I wore that thing out for like a year. Okay. Yeah. John Paul Gaultier. I mean, mm. I oh, that's a classic. That. Yeah. That's a classic. Mm. Even um, uh, John Barbados. I even got. I even got a few of his uh, fragrances. But once I discovered niche, it was more so the reaction I got <laughs> from wearing niche fragrances compared to designer. Mm. You know, the areas that I was in, the office spaces that I was in, the events that I attended, because most people were still doing designers. Mm-hmm. You know, niche hasn't really infiltrated yet, but mm, yeah, it, it, there was a difference. Out of all of my fragrances, I think I've got the most compliments <coughs> out of designer stuff than mm-hmm. I have any anything niche. Um, Maybe it's because I've I've had I've, because when I started most of my collection was nothing but designer stuff, um, and now I, I'll occasionally go get something designer. Like probably the last thing I bought was Aqua the the parfum. Yeah, I think that we talked about that. Yeah. Love that scent. Love that scent. Love the reactions I get from that. But mm-hmm. um, what you got? Well. I got the one that really started me on my journey. I let you you go. You go ahead and spray it. Oh no, you got, let you tell your story um, first, brother. <laughs> the one that started my journey from Creed was uh, Royal Oud, and I say that started me on my journey. The first one I purchased was uh, hmm, so long ago. What was the first Creed purchase I ever got? Was it Green Hours Tree? I think it was Green Hours Tree. I think that was the first one I got. Okay. And then I got this one. But this one right here, you know, everybody has that time in their life when you realize you became a man. (laughs) (laughs) When I wore this, the attention and the reaction I got from, you have different levels of women, Mm -hmm. right? The reaction I got elevated. <laughs> it, it elevated. And I started taking notice. I'm like, man, what is it? You know, I mean, this attention. This, this, this. The first one was a lady that worked in the mayor's office. She was third in charge from the mayor. Okay. And yeah, that right there got that. <laughs> Say less. That right there got that. And it just went from there. And you can see now. I, That's a major dent in that bottle. Yeah, How yeah. long have you had this bottle? Shoot, for some years. I don't even wear it no more because I'm scared that <laughs> the new batches aren't going to be the same quality right. as this one. So, right. yeah, I just keep it now just to sniff it now and then and reminisce once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Third in charge. Yeah. <laughs> I said, let me spray it for you guys. Do you, do um, you buy all of... Uh, are you one of those people that has to get 100 ml when you buy a bottle or you just... Well... It all depends on the fragrance. Like I, some Creed, a lot of Creed fragrances I have, they aren't the ML. This I'm is the so good. This because, is so good. Yeah, no, yeah, because I know I'm not gonna wear it as much with the amount that I have. I could wear, I could wear this in 
May and don't have to come back to it till next May and wear all of my mm. fragrances, you know? So I don't, well, I can't say I don't because some I still purchase uh, the 100 ml or the larger size, depending on the fragrance. Depending on the fragrance. Most of them I don't need. Now, when it comes to uh, this house, yeah, I'm getting the larger size. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the spray routine for Royal Oud? Well, for mostly, well, maybe a few fragrances I don't. I did a video on it. Like, okay, for instance, my shirts, I spray all my clothes before I put them on. Mm -hmm. I don't put them on this spray. I put the spray before I spray the inside, the outside, uh, down the sleeves, okay. around the collar. Okay. You know, and the cuffs, yeah. So I'm doing inside, outside, outside, yeah. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm the king of overspray. Okay. But mine's going to last. <laughs> mm. Hmm. I, I never, I never sprayed my clothes before I put them on. That's, that's really? interesting to me, yeah. Yeah, I spray my clothes before I put them on. What do you think? I don't think this is your speed, though. This is this too mature for me. This is too mature. This is who I asked me wearing the suit. I must say, this is... This, this, yeah. is, this is... You're not ready to hit nobody in the mayor's office. That's what that's, 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 nah, that's nah, saying. I can hit someone in the mayor's office. <laughs> this, 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 they ain't hitting me off of this scent. That's what it, <laughs> my energy don't give this scent right here, either. Okay. This is this is maturity, like... you. This is... Yeah, this, this is old white man money. He just shook his head. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. This is nice. Yeah. It's not, you should it's, try it, though. You should try it. I'm trying to tell you because I know you, depending on the app, but not even depending on the atmosphere, just try it. Go to wherever your spot is and just see the reaction. You I get. think my personality doesn't blend well with that. You'll be surprised. Your, your personality will, your likes, wants, personalities will change with something like this. Because this, that's what happened to me because. I used to be pants hanging off the tail, Jordans. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that was me everywhere I went. This fragrance right here actually changed my attitude. So this, this, this how you became suits right here? This changed oh. my attitude. <laughs> it really did. That a frag I can honestly say a fragrance changed my attitude because of the attention that I was getting. Mm. The attention went to a different level. Okay. So my way of thinking changed. Mm -hmm. My way of acting changed. And in that process, my salary changed. Okay. You know what? Uh, you sound like old player right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. You know, that's how it gets you right there. We watched, I was watching your video earlier, and it was, it was funny to me because it was convincing me to not pay my mortgage and buy this fragrance. <laughs> she ain't gonna work. We don't need light bills. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. sir, what, this is not okay. He was, like, he was saying, yeah, don't, uh, don't, 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 don't buy them, them toys for your kids. They're just gonna play with the boxes. <laughs> right. yeah. I'm just like, somebody gonna listen to this and be like, yeah, I should. I was like. All right. <laughs> well, but, you know, in the end, I say it's just entertainment. It's just That's entertainment. All, you know, it's just entertainment. Yeah, but that fragrance right there, Royal Oud, it just changed my whole persona. It really did. I'm, it it mm. did something for me. Like you said, it just it, it just oozes maturity. Mm. It does. So if the fragrance is going to present you as one way, then your physical actions has to meet that way. Okay. That's mm. what you did right there. Right. If you if you smell like money, let's <laughs> go. No, you know I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm, I'm gonna behave myself this time. Um, and this has got a nice price tag to it. Oh, but like I tell everybody, do your research. Do your research. Mm -hmm. how, how many creeds do you own? Twenty plus. Shh. I just I just dropped a video of uh, my top twenty creeds. I okay. did 20. I put some women's fragrance in there, too, because I'm not going to lie. I wear a woman's fragrance. Oh, that Queen yeah. of Silk? Queen of Silk. Yeah, I got that. Speak man. on it. Speak I mean, on it. That I Queen of Silk. That. Carmina. I got I like that. that. I, I rocks I, that. I, I love that one. Mm -hmm. And then there was a sat, what was it, satin something or, um, what is it? By the, it wasn't there, like an orange bottle. They got like a, the, the fragrance bottle. From too. Creed? Yeah, it's satin something. or. Is that what we smelled at the event? No, I went downstairs and I smelled it. Oh, you talking about Delphinus. You got Centurius and Delphinus, the new ones. No, no, no. no. This is an older one. It's been older. Downstairs. Yeah. Orange. Uh, it might be. Red. It might be red. It might be reddish. Original Santal. That's what it is. Uh, I, I, that's what. Is it that is. unisex or them? That's man. unisex. Is that's it not unisex? Woman. Yeah. Original mm -hmm. Santal is nice too. I like yeah, that original Santal. That yeah. and that uh, Viking got a lot of hate, but that smells good to me. Which one? Viking. Oh, not the cologne. Not the cologne. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the cologne, but the, yeah, the, the, the Viking. The original Viking, that spice that's in there. Yes, sir. And, the, and the, the dry down, that one. To me, I call the House of Creed the House of Maturity. 
all of their fragrance aren't on the immature side. You know, all of their fragrance, starting off with Green Irish Tweed. Beautiful scent. Yeah, uh, Royal Oud, uh, Tyrone Millicene, uh, all of them. So Silver I'm, Mountain Water. Bois de Portugal. Bo so, Boys to Portugal. Oh, man. So what I'm hearing mm. is if I buy a bottle of cream, my maturity will kick in. No, you still, you, you, you probably <laughs> wouldn't wear it because it's going it's to make you mature. Yeah. <laughs> You you have to be how old are you if you mind me asking? I'm forty. I just turned forty. Wow, you don't look forty. That's all right. <laughs> I, I, uh, I appreciate it. Um, but no, you should try it. Try it and just see. Let's try it and see, and give it a good spray. Oh, I will. You know, you know what I'm saying? If spray. I'm buying that bottle, I'm gonna spray it. Uh, well, I'm gonna let mean, the world know I'm spraying. You can it. go there. They will give you a nice sample, uh, anemas or whatever. Spray it all over you, whatever, before you go out and just see what happens. That royal oud, it is. Or, or Boys to Portugal. That's another one that's uh, old white money. No. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go buy a bottle this week. Bye. I'm, I'm going to go buy Bye. a bottle. I'm going to go buy a bottle this week. I'm going to go and get it. Go yeah. get something from Creed this week. Okay. And I've, I've, I I stood on a mountain side. So I was mm -hmm. never going to buy a bottle of Creed. But now, I, after going to the event and then also hearing y'all convincing this of my mature, lack of maturity, I'm going to go get one C. What, which one are you going to get is the question. I, yeah, I, look, so you got to be careful which one you get. You really do. Because some of them, you know, you just really got to be careful. You know I mean? I'm going to put a, you know what, I'm going to do a pan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so you to, don't have a Ventus? No. No, I don't have, what? no. Wow. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to let the people choose. I'm going to do a panel. I'm going to put like these five bottles up here or whatever and say which one y'all want me to purchase and then I'm going to purchase that one. Okay. We're going to put a... Uh, put, yeah. I, I'm still stuck on the fact you don't have a Ventus. We're going to have to put mm -mm. a poll out there. Mm -mm. So have you tried the uh, Absolute? I saw you talk I, about that. I, I, I smelled, smelled it. I just, I just... I didn't like Absolute actually. Really? Just, it wasn't for me. I like the okay. cologne. Yeah. Now, that's what I was going to say. If... Don't get a Ventus because the new batches, they aren't like the original and they mm -hmm. aren't strong and everybody has it. If you get one, get the cologne. To me, the cologne is m way much better. Classic. Way much put, better. We can put the pole up. Put the pole mm -hmm. up and let the people choose and I'll go do it. You got to put Absolute in there because I have both. I have the Triple Age and the original Absolute. Uh, so, and you like the Triple H better? I like the Triple H better. Okay. That, one, that one just got more earth to it. I mean, okay. It's just really deep in it. You wear that. Now, I guarantee you, if you would get some samples, they'll give you some samples for free. Uh, I'm, I'm, go ahead, I'm diving in head first. The sample's not going to let me get the good sprays I need. Yeah, so I, I'm, I need to go in. Yeah, but you got to know which one to right. get. I, look, yeah. I'm putting That's it why to I say the, get samples I'm first. I'm putting it to the people. Because, let's see, if I had to think for you what would work best for Nigel, I, I mean, I probably would say original Santal original since, since That's what you I was already like that. Too. Um, yeah. I think you could do a Millicene Imperial. Yeah. I think you could do maybe even Virgin Island Water. Virgin Island Water. Mm -hmm. uh, you 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 a Silver Mountain Water guy. You you like that? Um, if you like that, right? Then you will like Silver Mountain Water, uh, Millicene Imperial, um, Virgin Island Water. You'll like all those fresh, uh, somewhat fruity vibe fragrances. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, this week. Well, I suggest sample first before you blind by Samples, Creed, samples, I, samples, I've, I've, samples. I've done worse in life, so. Samples, samples, I'm, samples. I've blew money on worse things. Or Matter of fact, things. I think I got a discovery set upstairs. I think I do. An, uh, uh, an official Creed one, not a uh, Club de Nuit. <laughs> no, no disrespect to them or anybody that wears that. That's, that, that's not where I was oh, going with that. Man. Um <laughs> Uh, what else did you bring? All right. Now, this one. So let me move this out the way. Hmm. <laughs> this right here is my baby. This one is my fragrance that you really, really have to be ready for. What's the name of this? Diagolave. Oh, well, no. This isn't for him. This isn't for him. This isn't for him. Yeah, now that. That's actually nice. See, that, that right nice. there. Hmm. I like this. I mean, way it, over that. It's gonna linger on the bed, spread the pillow sheets. <laughs> Talk that, that energy. I mean, Look. It's gonna linger everywhere. <laughs> like, when you get up and leave, and her husband come home, she go no. She, she <laughs> gonna know that somebody <laughs> would. And her tell. husband come home. I'm <laughs> telling you. Oh, this this is that Diagolade, oh, man. This is actually my second bottle. This is. 
Let me see. Mm. Mm. That one, that, that one touched me a little bit right there. The Agalic. I'm surprised you like this. Mm-hmm. I like this. This smells. To me, this smells older. This smells more sophisticated. Um, I don't think this is something that I would wear, but I like it. But I do know that this ain't no cheap bottle. Mm, most of the bottles I have aren't cheap. Yeah, this ain't no cheap <laughs> bottle right there. Mm-mm. I think it's. Mm. And, and you like Diagolev over Royal yeah. Oud? Interesting. Is this your favorite mm-hmm. fragrance? Mm-hmm. Okay. Diagolev. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. That's my favorite. Oh, my I know favorite. how much you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can I, this is I'm not ready for this. I just, I just thought about the price tag of this thing. No, nah, I'm not ready for that. Yeah, it got a mm-hmm. nice price tag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, 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 ain't, I ain't to that point yet. How how many how many um This is nice. bottles would you say you roughly have in your collection? I stopped counting. Okay. Cuz if I start or if I did count, I'd probably be looking at myself like what is wrong with you and then stop buying so I don't even count no more. Do you have a dedicated but space just, like a, yeah, like a display, neck, clay, a display case or something? Well, I got like seven, <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. seven stands. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, are they like stands with shelves? Yeah. So, yeah. You, do you have it lighted, lighting up too? Well, I have lights underneath. <laughs> so when I'm doing a vi- my next video I drop, uh, somebody had asked me to do uh, um, a uh, beast mode. Uh, tension grabbing fragrances. So I had okay. picked uh, 10 of them and I'm going to do uh, a video on This one of them? No, no, these aren't in that. Okay. No, these aren't in that. That's definitely beast mode. That, that's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. D- I mean, people that are frequent to my channel, they know, I don't even, ca- I call it Diagolave. You have yeah. to <laughs> say it. You, know, you got to like put some respect on it. Yeah. That, that, that's my favorite one. But, the um, and Roja Dove is my favorite house. And me and this wow. other guy. Yeah, Roja Dove. That's my, I got, 25 plus bottles of uh, Roja Dove. And I'm, yeah. I did a video on that, my top 25 mm-hmm. from the house. Yeah, I got 25 yeah. plus bottles of that. But I'm, like I said, you know, I went, the designers I had were few. But when I went to that uh, Creed stand at Neiman's, it's been niche ever since. It's been niche ever since now. So I'm starting to circle back around into designers just to get some to do reviews on or whatever but mm, that's all niche it's all niche designer is definitely meant to be mass appealing on a on a large scale this stuff yeah. if you not really into fragrances and mm-hmm. stuff this a it's lot of stuff could be hit or miss yeah mm-hmm. it's gonna be because your, your nose isn't ready for good quality mm-hmm. you know that's why I it would. costs so much if your nose not ready for it, you know you're not going to know how to accept it you're not going to know how to portray it that's what it's all mm-hmm. about perfumery is an art yeah and art is meant to be seen you know um what's your favorite note in a fragrance mm, that's a good question hmm i don't think i have a favorite note but I know my favorite combination is more like oud, um, oud and rose. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite combinations. I love patchouli, and I love patchouli more so on the fact that it neutralizes fragrances. If I see patchouli in it, I say, okay, we got some calmness to the storm that's coming. <laughs> and the dry down, you can really pick up on because the patchouli killed all the things that was at the top mm-hmm. and it was just running wild. Right. And when the patchouli coming in, it makes everything sit on the couch, they behave, and then you can really enjoy the fragrance. But my favorite note, probably sandalwood. Sandalwood. I'm, I, mm. I'm, a, I'm a sandalwood, cedarwood kind yeah, of Yeah, sandalwood. Sandalwood and vanilla. Mm. I do love rose, though. I love... Uh, I love the smell of rose, especially on a beautiful woman. Mm. Um, I, I, I could wear it. Um, what's that? Um, roses on Ice by Killian. It's, mm. uh, it's something mm. that I wear. Mm. I like that. That's a pretty good fragrance right there. Yeah. Uh, we already know you like vanilla. We already know. I mean, I do. I can't. It is what it is. What's your favorite ice cream? Vanilla? <laughs> a mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You're the second person to tell me that this week. It is. That's the, hey, that's that's when I got the uh, 
that chocolate makes me happy in that mint condition, that's where it smells like to me when I when I layer that together. It okay. smells like mint chocolate chip, and it okay. smells amazing. Mm. Okay. I thought about bringing that on, but I was like, mm, not yet. I got to save that. Okay. All right. For the right time. Well, do you got anything else? Uh, once again, I'd like to thank uh, for everybody that supports us, watch us, um, comes uh, thank Suits first, you know what I'm saying? Because you took your time out today. You could be anywhere, but chose to be here today. Um, thank you for sharing fragrances that I, <laughs> <laughs> in my lifetime, I never thought I would purchase. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I've now become a Creed friend and lover now. So I'm gonna figure out which Creed's gonna work mm. or the people decide. So um, I'm looking forward to this journey, and I'm, it's been a good time, great experience. Look to do more stuff in the future. Uh, that's all I got. I just like to thank you, gentlemen, for having me here. You know, really, I like to go on channels that are still raw. Mm -hmm. You know, that hasn't been infiltrated and uh, uh, filtered, and um, where people got their hands in and try to change your style. You know, you guys are still raw. You still got that good energy, and that's what that's what that's when you know. I'm doing my research. Of course, you got to do your research. You can't just go anywhere without research. And everything seems raw, seems natural. Got good vibes, good energy to it. I said, yeah, let me go over here with these guys, you know, and chop it up for a little while. But I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, thank you for the kind words. Thank you for um, giving us your time. Um, again, I reached out and you you hit me back and was like, yeah, no problem. Uh, I like when we can work together, mm -hmm. help each other out. Um, if there's any way we can help you with your channel and your content or whatever, you know, don't hesitate to let us know. Um but to the audience, thank you for tuning in again. Um, I don't have any more words. We, we out. Peace. <laughs> no, well, one thing I would Go say ahead. at those master classes that we were at, yes, don't fall for the hype. <laughs> oh, he because, was selling. Oh, yeah, he, oh, he, he's he a was... presenter. You know, he's an ambassador, <laughs> okay. but I don't okay. call them ambassadors because okay. actually, it was supposed to have been this guy named Luis. He was the one supposed to originally do the presentation. Okay. Then they're, they're called their titles are uh, ambassadors, but I call them presenters because they're trying to present and sell you a fragrance. Right, right, right. You know, so especially he kept pushing. I see you downstairs. I see you downstairs. See you downstairs. Because what's downstairs? The cash register and the fragrances. Right, right. That's what they go for, and they kept pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. Don't fall for the presentation. Uh, if to me, if I was doing such a thing, I would have brought like my best fragrances up mm -hmm. there. I don't know that, uh, what did we smell? Queen of Silk, yeah, well, Delphinus, see, that's the whole or whatever. Delphinus and Centurion aren't selling. Right. So that's why they had that master class trying to push those two fragrances more with the amber note. Yeah, they got a strong amber note with them or whatever, but they're more so looking at the sales because they had a mass production of those fragrances mm -hmm. think they was going to hit the market and they, gotta get and they were going to flood. So no, now they're they having master classes that we're trying to push the sales. So they see that those sales aren't pushing. Now they're trying to push older fragrances. And what he was really pushing was Love and White and Love and Black from the women's side, which aren't bad fragrances, but don't fall for the hype and don't fall for the presentation because their fragrances aren't cheap. Don't purchase something because you're being persuaded to. Purchase it because it's hitting you, feeling it. You know, when it hits your nose and you get that feeling. I always tell everybody, before you purchase a spray or a fragrance, don't go to the store with nothing on. The one that, that you're interested in, spray it on the strip. If it hits you, spray it all over you. Yep. Walk around for a while. See it in a different environment. See it in a different it, yeah. environment. See how it's hitting you from you walk around. And if you like it, then go back and get it. Don't get it from just first spraying on you because that's the deceiving part of it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you you get a lot of top notes and, and in 20 minutes you don't smell anything mm -hmm. or smell you, your fragrance mm -hmm. isn't doing anything, then, you know, what's yeah. the point? Yeah, yeah. so spray it on you, walk around for For one, you could test the base and the, uh, and the uh, uh, ending notes and you can also test the longevity. Mm -hmm. If you walk around for like 30 minutes and it's still hitting you, then you know you got good longevity. Mm -hmm. Or people smell it. And, mm -hmm. and, and what you got on? Yeah. Yeah. The sillage and the projection. Yep. That's what I say. So don't fall for the presentation. All right. Well, thank you. We out. Mm -hmm. Peace. All Peace. right.